Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Wave Variable Starter Types and Operators. In this video, we will learn about the precedence and associativity of the operators. If there are more than one operators present in a single statement, then which one execute first and which one later? For example, if we have int i is equal to 2 plus 3 minus 1 multiplied by 5 divided by 7, there are total 5 operators present here. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and assignment. Then what should be the order of execution? Will it execute the addition operator first or will it execute the division operator first? This is another example int i is equal to 2 plus 3. There are two operators here, addition and assignment. Now the question is which one should execute first? If there are more than one operators present in a single statement, then we rank them using precedence and associativity. We care for associativity only if the precedence is same. Means the operator which gets higher precedence will get the higher rank. And if the two operators have the same precedence, then we will consider associativity. Unlike mathematics, the Java programming does not follow the Bodmas rule. Java has given some rank to all the operators called the precedence. This is the table of precedence and associativity. You can pause this video and note it down. Let us see how this operation works. We have two operators here, addition and assignment operator. Addition operator has higher precedence than assignment operator. So precedence rank of the addition operator in this operation is 1. Then after we have the assignment operator. The precedence rank of this assignment operator in this statement is 2. That's how the addition operator executes first. The addition operator results in 5. Now the term of assignment operator comes. The assignment operator executes second. And finally the 32-bit binary of 5 gets assigned in the integer variable i. Now we have another example. Here we have three operators. Assignment, addition and multiplication. For this statement, multiplication has precedence rank 1. Addition has precedence rank 2 and assignment has precedence rank 3. That's how the multiplication operator executes first. And the result of the 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. Then after the addition operator has next higher precedence. So the addition operator executes second. The result of this addition operation is 17. Then after we have only one operator left in this statement which is assignment operator. The assignment operator executes third and the 32-bit binary of 17 gets stored in the integer variable i. If in a statement the precedence is equal, then we look at the associativity. There are two types of associativity, left to right and right to left. In the very next example, we will look at the meaning of this associativity. That what is meaning of left to right associative and right to left associative, we will just see. Here we have another example. We have three operations here, assignment, multiplication and division. Which of them will execute first? See the precedence of operators. Among these three multiplication and division, both have equal precedence and both have more precedence than assignment operator. So either multiplication or division will execute first. Now see the associativity of multiplication and division. Both are left to right. Left to right associativity means the operator will execute first which do not have any further calculation of the same level of precedence at its left side. So you can see here the multiplication operator does not have any further calculation of multiplication, division or modulus at its left. Hence the multiplication will execute first. You can see here the division operator has a multiplication operation at its left side. But the multiplication operator does not have any further calculation of the same level at its left. Means the multiplication operator does not have any further calculation of multiplication, division and modulus at its left. That's how the multiplication operator will execute first. The both operands of the multiplication operator that is 2 and 7 are integers. So the type returned by the multiplication is maximum of integer, integer and integer. That is integer. That is 14 in 32 bit integer. The next operation is division. Now the left side of the division operator does not have any operation of the same level. One operand is integer 14 and the other operand is double 5.5. So the result of this operation is double 2.5454 which cannot be assigned in the integer A and shows error. If we typecast the overall result to the integer, then we will get 2. The 2.5454 has truncated to 2. Let me apply this operation in a Java code. Open expression.java and we are going to store the result of the 2 multiplied by 7 divided by 5.5 in the integer variable a, which will result in error. Let me try to compile it. Java C expression.java Compile a Trojan error, incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from double to integer. If we typecast the result of this operation, then everything will be good. Typecast it. 
right here in teaser int then compile and execute it java c expression dot java compiles fine and then run it java expression it runs fine in printing two if i write here like that two divided by seven multiplied by 5.5 .5, Then the division operator will execute first because both division and multiplication has the same precedence and according to associativity rule there are no same precedence level of operation at the left hand side of the division operator that's how the division operator will execute first the two operands of this division operator are 2 and 7 both are integers so 2 divided by 7 will result in the integer 0 and that integer 0 is going to be multiplied by 5.5 .5. so final result of this expression is 0 let me save and compile it. Java C expression dot Java. Clear the screen. Then run it. Java expression. It runs fine and printing zero. In this operation, we have four operators: multiplication, division, addition, and assignment. Multiplication and division has the same precedence. But if you see here in the left hand side of the both addition and multiplication, there are no same level of operation. The division operator has the addition operation in its left hand side which is not at the same precedence level of division and the multiplication operator does not have any operation at its left hand side. So any of them, any of multiplication and division can execute first. But the result of these operations are going to be added and then the typecasting occurs on the final result. So 2 multiplied by 4.4 .4 is 8.8 .8, and 3 divided by 7 is 0. Finally, we are adding 8.8 .8 plus 0, which results in 8.8. .8. And then after we are typecasting the 8.8, .8, the typecasting double to integer truncate the whatever is stored after the decimal point. And final result after the typecasting is 8. So the 32-bit binary of integer 8 is going to be stored in the integer variable i. All the addition and subtraction operators have same precedence and associativity. Both addition and subtraction operators have same precedence. And both addition and subtraction operators are left to right associative. This is a task for you to figure out the result of this operation. Here we have the string variable s which is going to store the result of this expression. Here we have two addition operator. Both have the same precedence. But according to the associativity rule, the addition operator at left hand side is going to be executed. The two operands of this addition operator are 55 and 67 in integers. So result of this addition operator is 122 in integer. Next, this addition operator has to be executed because the assignment operator has lower precedence than this addition operator. We know that here the addition operator will act as the overloaded addition operator. And when an integer or any other primitive data type gets added with a string, then it results in a string. So this operator results in the string 122 hello. And the reference of this string is going to be stored in the string variable s. Let me execute this code practically in a Java program. Open expression.java. And this is the code. Let me comment out this line. And here we are printing the result of 55 plus 67 plus hello. Let me save and compile it. Java C expression dot Java. It compiles fine and then run it. Java expression. It runs fine and printing 122 hello. If you have a string s is equal to hello plus 55 plus 66, then the both addition operators have the same precedence and they both have the higher precedence than the assignment operator. That's how we have to check the associativity of the addition operator. Both addition operators are left to right associative. The addition operator at left hand side has no any same precedence level operation at its left. The operands of this addition operator are a string and integer. So here this addition operator will act as the overloaded addition operator. And concatenate hello and 55 to result hello 55. Then after this addition operator has to execute. One operand of this addition operator is the string hello 55 and other operand is 66. Here again the addition operator acts as the overloaded addition operator. Its one operand is hello 55 and other operand is 66. So after this operation hello 55 and 66 gets concatenated to result in the string hello 5566. The reference of this string gets stored in the string variable s. Let me apply this code in a java program practically. Open expression.java. Right here, hello plus 55 plus 66. 
राइट हियर फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सेव एंड कंपाइल इट जावा सी एक्सप्रेशन डॉट जावा कंपाइल फाइन एंड देन रन इट जावा एक्सप्रेशन रन फाइन एंड प्रिंटिंग हेलो फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर इज राइट टू लेफ्ट एसोसिएटिव हेयर वी है वेरिएबल ए विच कंटेंस फोर एंड वी है वेरिएबल्स बी सी एंड डी विच आर नॉट डिक्लेयर्ड then we have a statement b is equal to c is equal to d is equal to a here only one operator is used the assignment operator but that operator is used three times here all the three operators have same precedence because all the three are same all the three operators have right to left associativity so first we will check which of these three operator does not have any same level of operation at its right hand side this assignment operator has two same level of operation at its right hand side This assignment operator has one same level of operation at its right hand side. This assignment operator does not have any same level of operation at its right hand side. In fact, this assignment operator does not have any operation at its right hand side. So this assignment operator gets executed first. That's how whatever is stored in the variable a gets assigned to the variable d. Then whatever is stored in the variable d gets assigned into the variable c. Finally, whatever is stored in the variable c gets assigned in the variable b. That's how all the four integer variables gets assigned with the 32 bit binary of 4 and finally we are printing the a b c and d Let me save and compile it java c expression dot java compiles fine and then run it java expression it runs fine and printing 4 4 4 and 4 Let's play with increment and decrement operators We have an integer variable a which contains 4 and we have another integer variable b which contains 5 and then we have an integer variable c here we are doing the operation like b plus 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 a and the result of this expression will be stored in the integer variable c b changed to 6 but the older value 5 is used in the operation because b is the post increment that's how b changed to 6 but we have to use 5 then after we have plus plus a a changed to 5 and the new value 5 is used in the operation because a is the pre increment Then after we have to add five plus five, which results ten. Let me execute this code in a Java program. Open expression dot Java, and we have the integer variable a, which contains four. We have the integer variable b, which contains five, and we have third integer variable c. C contains the result of b plus 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 a. Finally, we are printing the a, b, and c. Here, older value of b will be used, but b itself will get increased to six. Here the increased value of a will be used, so expression will result in five plus five is equal to ten. B will result six and a will result five. Let me compile and execute this code. Java C expression dot Java. Compile fine and then run it. Java expression. It runs fine, printing five, six, and ten. A is equal to five, B is equal to six, and C is equal to ten. Let me make some changes in the expression. Right here, B plus plus minus plus plus a. Now let me compile and execute it. Java C expression dot Java. Compile fine and then run it. Java expression. It runs fine, printing five, six, and zero. Because five minus five is equal to zero. Older value of B is used, which is five, and newer value of A is used, which is again five. And five minus five is equal to zero. We can remove a space from here. We can write here B plus plus minus plus plus A. Let me save and compile it. Clear the screen. Java C expression dot Java. It compiles fine and then run it. Java expression. It runs fine and printing five six and zero. But we cannot write like this. We cannot write like B plus 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 a without any space. If we do like this, then the compiler will be confused and result an error. Let me try to compile it. Java C expression dot Java. Compiler throws an error. Unexpected type B plus 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 a. Compiler got confused in this operation. So if you are using the plus operator you must have to give the space between b++ and +++a Here we have only one variable a which contains 4 and our expression is a++++ a For a++ a change to the 5 but the older value 4 is used in the operation because a is the post increment here In this case the initial value of a was 5 so the new value of a is 6 a change to 6 and the new value 6 is used in the operation because a is the pre increment Finally we add 4 plus 6 which results in 
let me apply this code practically in a java program open expression dot java we have the integer variable a which contains 4 and the result of this expression is going to be stored in the integer variable a and finally we are printing the integer variable a let me save and compile it java c expression dot java compiles fine and then run it java expression it runs fine and printing 10 that's all for this video guys don't forget to like and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next video